secret thought. I hope they don't suspect anything. Fairy Canary, why are you waking me up so early? What <gasps> happened? I didn't finish my dream. Have you forgotten? We wanted to know why Tertia is pretending to be dreamy and find out who she is. An investigation is urgently needed. Mm, do it. And I'm meeting soon with Eclaire today. Hmm. So check in the Feynet. Search in Feynet did not show any results. No information about Tertia was found. Don't you understand? Tertia can be anyone, a criminal, a conspirator, a spy. And how do we reveal her? Elementary, our thoughts don't disappear without a trace. Based on this, I invented a device that searches for these traces. Reads them from the interference pattern and converts them into sound waves. Say, Say what? what? You will see now. What is it? These are the thoughts that have been heard in the room over the past day. What if I try to summon the Queen of the Midnight Fairies? Where is Booty hiding? It's not fair. Why does Dreamy have a boyfriend and even Letty? <gasps> Bruno's spiral, Graves' spiral, Lewis's spiral. How many thoughts we have. I guess that were real thoughters. <laughs> Fifty-nine Tertius thoughts were found in total. Vortex Spiral Magic, Fibonacci Spiral, the Spiral Labyrinth of Shimmer Fairy, Spiral Galaxies. That is a lot to deal with. Nothing but spirals it's in her head. To Tomorrow, I'll fly to the Stone Forest and try the magic with the Vortex Spiral there. So we found out where Tertia is. And what is the point of this? Elementary. Uh, but I don't know yet. Hey. What's this thing here? Someone's secret thought. Now, how do we find out whose it is and what it is about? We can run it through the dream graph. Yes, that's a great idea. So while Dreamy investigates this evidence, Esty will conduct a search. Banty will take testimony. In the meantime, ugh, I'll look into the computer. Permission to go carry out the mission now, Master Detective. <laughs> 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 well, let's see what she has here. Aha! Exactly! Exactly! Uh, uh, no. Search? Oh! What is this here? Something out of fairies! Tossing and turning? Waking up? Hmm, yeah, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. Fair em, scare em. In the secret thought, there are blue flowers and a spiral. So this is definitely Tercia's thought. The pillow said that Kate was not sleeping well because the room smells disgusting. Ah, poor Kate. And I found Kate's favorite hairpin in the trash can. It's broken into pieces. Can you imagine? And what does this all mean, great detective Let's? Elementary. Tertia is an evil fairy. <gasps> But evil fairies are only found in stories. Not in stories, Fancy, but in history. They existed before, and in our time, they don't. Tertia wants to harm Kate with blue flowers and spiral magic. And here's the result. Kate doesn't sleep well, but... Very fantastic! And the hairpin? The evil Tertia broke Kate's hairpin, especially to confuse the great detective. We'll deal with the hairpin later. We need to continue collecting evidence. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, search history, macrame. What to do if you're bullied at school. How to remove a stain from a dress. Buy a smartphone. Oh, I like macrame.
for me so much. Wait, are there bulls in Kate's school? Who let them in? No, she was bullied. Bullying is... Uh, when someone constantly harasses you, one person or several at once. <gasps> It looks like Kate did all the search on here. Tertia was not looking for anything. Maddie, look! It's Kate's phone! She probably left it behind. Hmm, empty. As if it wasn't used at all. In my opinion, it seems brand new. It is true. Tertia is brilliant in covering her tracks. <laughs> Nobody said anything about Tertia, only about the bad smell. I told you that we smell something nasty. Hmm. Let's carry out a molecular analysis of the ether compound. Let's try to find the source of the smell. Follow him! dress, took a stain remover to wash it off. But she did not dilute it with water and spoiled the dress and now the smell is nasty. Hooray! Tertia is not an evil fairy. She did not want to belay anyone. And you, Letty, ruined our day with your investigation. Booty and I didn't even play like five games. Even like ten. Yeah. But... No, something doesn't add up here anyway. Evil fairies. No, now I'm sure. Look. The girls mock at Kate. They broke the hairpin. They doused her dress with juice. Broke the phone. Kate bought a new one with her own money, but she's afraid to bring it to school. But why doesn't she tell her mom? Then everyone will decide that I'm a sneak and a coward. I have to handle it myself, but I don't know how. No, you don't have to. No one has to handle this on their own. Uh, Letty, it's a pity that Kate can't hear you, but I think I know what needs to be done. You're a good girl for telling me everything. You know, Mom, I had a dream about little fairies. One of them was so smart, Letty. She persuaded me to tell you everything. How clever Letty is. Thank her very much. I'll call the teacher right now. Together we will definitely handle everything. Well done, Letty. 
And you, Dreamy. This was a wonderful idea to make a dream and explain everything to Kate. It looks like Tertia has nothing to do with it this time. And I didn't reveal the secret. I'm a bad detective. On the contrary, you are a super cool, super detective. Look how everything about bullying has been detected. And you will find out everything about Tertia. <laughs> <laughs> didn't know or find out anything about Tertia, but Kate got help. <sighs> Tertia may not have any secrets. The prophecy of... of Shimmer Theory? Oh, I'll call everyone! Don't tell anyone? Okay, this will be my secret thought then. See? My lips are sealed and I promise I won't tell anyone. I cross my heart and pinky swear. What is she looking for? Spiral magic. The spiral is not fulfilled. The prophecy doesn't open. The lock doesn't even light up. Oh, what am I saying? Okay, once again. The prophecy cannot be fulfilled if the lock won't even open. And how will it open if the spiral won't light up? Well, what do you want, huh? Why won't you light up? Do you want me to be revealed? That's the alarm clock. Lessons again. Somehow I managed to call myself the teacher of these youngling fairy teens. Hold on. They are the ones who activated the symbols. Dreamy spilled dream. Letty sunshine. Esty pink balls. Fanti book coming alive. This means that they will activate the fifth symbol. Look out, Spiral. <laughs> I have deciphered almost all the spells of the Moon Book. There is only one thing left, some kind of prophecy. Good morning. Today we have an unusual lesson. You'll be working on your own today. And your task is to come up with Spiral Magic. Spite all? Spiral, Fanti, not spite all. I hope everyone knows what a spiral is. Of course we know. But what kind of magic can be considered spiral? You're asking too many questions. Develop independent thinking, show creativity, and come up with huh? original spells. Mm -hmm. mm. Based on results, we will choose the winner. Huh. Did you hear that? The task is somehow stupid. What is a spiral? Ah. I see! When peeling potatoes, the skin comes in a spiral! Eclair, you're so smart! You're right! I'll do a hypnotic spiral! Many objects are spiral-shaped. From tiny viruses to giant galaxies! Oh, galaxy! Ah. Exactly! <laughs> and it will be like a spiral, oh. okay? <laughs> Everyone is working independently. Each fairy team must come up with their own spiral magic. What magic? <sighs> spiral magic, what is it? Oh, maybe I'll make a spiral dress. <gasps> shape of a nautilus. Yes, that's what I need. Brilliant idea. Looks like some kind of swirl is clung to Esty. 
Let's figure it out. We need a spectral analysis. I gotcha. Uh. Scary fairy, what is happening here? This thing is stuck to Esty. Help! Drive it away! Let's give it a try. Look out, you squiggle! Esty, I get it. This squiggle here is part of you. Therefore, you can't get rid of it. Maybe we should let a magic doctor remove it from her. Exactly. With a magic knife, snip, snip, and you're done. Huh? Mind what you say. No way! Thanks for your fantastic ideas, but I'd better sort it out on my own. It doesn't light up. It doesn't light up. It doesn't. It... They'll ruin everything. I must help. No. I must not interfere. Give freedom to their energy and calm down. <sighs> My wings are relaxed. Relaxed. And the magic needs a spiral. <gasps> you want to help me with the task? What is this? It looks like something. Yes, I understand. Very fantastic. Now I'm going to do such magic. Everyone will be amazed. <laughs> Thank you. Watch these wheelies. What are they doing? They're these misfits. Mm. My magic is on an absolute grand scale that is unthinkable. You never dreamed of it. Let's see what you dream about under my hypnosis. And Booty and I prepared a great gift. Hopefully all this rumbling was not in vain and you all did a great job. Fanti, let's start with you. Candy run out no more. An endless spiral forevermore. Oh, why is it endless? You can lick as much as you want. It won't get any smaller. An ingenious idea comes to light. Spiral Galaxy appears in sight. This is the Nautilus Spiral Galaxy. Galaxy, what if this will work? What is a galaxy? Hmm, how do I explain this? <gasps> ah! down, everyone. This was a pilot sample that had not been tested, that's all. I'll create a new version right away. No, that's enough. Please don't. Thank you, Letty. Why don't you do that some other time? Now let's listen to Dreamy. Altikon glatnaka takal algidon glatlatual. Now you will find yourself in the depths of your soul. Oh. Hypnosis, that's not the thing. It's unlikely that it will activate the red spiral. Thank you, Dreamy, that's enough. <laughs> oh, Esty, the spiral finally unhooked from you. No, there it is. This, as it turns out, is my obsession with spiral magic. I took a good look at it, and that's what happened. Spiral, open your whole essence. At last. And twist the blue pearl in their tresses. A curl? A curl? What's a curl? And why is this all here? Here's why. The idea is fine, <laughs> but take away these whimwhams, huh? <laughs> oh, that's not the thing either. Well done. Lesson's over. Turn oh. 
Uh, uh, where are you oh, going? Patricia, whose magic is the best? But you promised to pick a winner. Hmm, yeah, apparently. Her business is more important than our assignment. Well, okay. I already know that my hypnosis is the coolest. Here you go again. Why? Huh, what do you mean, why? This is a new moon spell. Moon spells have not been created for a thousand years. Yeah, and I have a new galaxy. Nobody has ever created them before. And I have a candy. It's very tasty. Listen, we cannot choose the winner ourselves. Since Tertia has flown away, we will use the Thaynet. Let everyone appreciate our neo-enchanting inventions. Hmm. Judging by the vote... Esty is the winner! <laughs> this is the same pattern that I dream all the time! Now I won't be able to forget it! <sighs> what is this? Oh, you are my obsession. So give me a clue. When the moon comes alive, the dream spills, pink balls fly, the sunlight overflows, five fairies will get together, and the chosen one will appear. No, but I already knew that. I am the chosen one. Wait, five fairies. That must mean the fifth is me. It means that I'm the one who must do the fifth magic. <gasps> But what magic? One, two, three, four, Catcher five. of fear. Try to transmogrify. Mouse to cat and club to bun. Stick to stone, now everyone. Turn a table into potluck. Turn an oak into burdock. Turn a ball into a skeet. If you're out, then you are it. <gasps> Esty, come on. That's not fair. You're it. All right, all right. <sighs> what are we playing here? We're playing tag and repeat. No fun. Esty, catch and repeat. <laughs> hey, no flying, I said. Remember? Opa. <laughs> 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 chickened out to do a somersault. Just admit it. <laughs> no, I'm not scared to. I just, I just didn't want to ruin my dress. <laughs> like I said, you're a chicken. The book of housekeeping. Ugh, all this housekeeping poultry feeding again. I need it like a shrimp needs an aqua lung. Housekeeping is actually very important for fairy teens. Then I wish you success in the great feat of floor sweeping. It's to sweep floors than blow bubbles all day long. Aren't you tired of it? Mwah. <gasps> hey, did you see it? <gasps> there was someone running! Hello, everybody. Dreamy, please sit down. It's time for class. Dreamy, did you hear I me? I saw something. What? A sofa cushion ghost again? I remember that. It was so cute. It was something small and black. Dreamy. A fly. I saw something honest! Or someone from the nighttime world! Dreamy! A queen of nighttime fairies again? That's quite peculiar! Alright, so I made Dreamy. a mistake that time! Dreamy! That was a clothes moth! Uh, uh. <gasps> Enough of that! This is outrageous already! <sighs> You may embroider a pattern on page 25 or make your own design if you'd like. You have, mm, 30 minutes. Embroidering, broilering. Then I say knitting and loitering. <laughs> 
If you don't close your mouth, screams will ring out throughout the house. You are being too literal, you know? There's someone there! Under the desk! Someone black and very cold! I think it's a clothes moth with an ice cream. Jamie, Sony, please! Thanks for not calling me Kitty. Or I'd melt. <gasps> okay, it left a trail here. <clears throat> Hooray! We're stalking! Like real stalkers! No, we'll be smarter than that. Shall we fly? This book has everything in it. But it's in more language, though. Yes, well, I think I was able to decipher one spell with Letty Phone, at least. It seems to fit the context. Hold on, you took my fairy phone? When did you do that? Fanti, a pair of compasses. Esty, bring your powder case. All right, now let's see who's lurking around here. Did you make the right data input for deciphering? What is this? A trap. If a spirit is dangerous, we'll pack it into this box right away. Ha! And presto. Dreamy, do you hear me? If you don't make a right data input, the translation would be wrong. Everything will go wrong then. No one has ever been able to decipher the Moo language. You know that. Decaying image. Moony space. Our close guest, show us your face. Oh wow, what a cutie! The translation was right, as you can see. I took the fairy phone yesterday. Any more questions? We shall see. What a roly-poly! I don't like this roly-poly for some reason. Letty, you better see through this beast we have here. But this is the fear! Uh... The law of the fear increase, drawn from analyzing the factors that provide the given increase, says that... Say, say what? If you don't fight fear, it will only continue to grow. Why should we fight it? It's so good. <gasps> it seems to have grown somehow. Esty, don't imagine... <laughs> 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 it's grown! Stop fearing it or it will grow more. Now we'll uh -huh. drive it into our trap. I'm not afraid. I'm not fearing it in the least. Not a bit scared at all. Oh, it's so scary! Now, a little bit more. Dreamy, be quick. It's growing. What a fairy fail. I can't find a spell in here. Here it is. Wave off, scream, careen, hairy fairies, down, drip, crawl in. Not drip, deep. Read it carefully, Dreamy. Don't interfere in the heat of the moment, Letty. Oh, I will definitely need this. Oh, cool. Will you teach us this awesome special effects? I don't think it's the right time now. Who is it? It's the fear I saw in the classroom. None of this is my fault. It attacked me from under the desk. Well, let's sort it out. If it is a fear, it should have characteristics. The first one is that all fear grows. Correct. And the second one is, a fear can't belong to no one. All fears have their sources. But how can we know whose this one is? It can be conquered only by the person who created it. Who could be afraid so much? This fear is so huge, even the fairy of the moment spell doesn't affect it. Ah, oh, careful! Behind, behind, you. behind you, look! But a real fairy can cope and deal with any situation. <laughs> so, what is it? I haven't finished it. The lesson isn't over yet. All remain seated. What's up? Oh, Kuros, I think I know who it is. It's my fear. It was true. I was afraid to do that somersault. <laughs> oh, what have I done? I think you should approach it. Stop fearing it immediately or it devours all of us. I can't. I'm too scared. I sing a song whenever I'm scared. What song is that? I shall fight my fear. I shall hold it dear. I will make a sap and another one. 
step by step. And it's gone. I always sing a song. For everything, I can do it all. The fear will surely fall. Anytime I feel afraid, the monsters live under my bed. I hold the bracelet that I made and think of these words instead. To overcome my fear, ah, ah. the power's all right here. Ah, ah. First I take a breath, then I take a step, then I take the next, right foot then the left. And I sing this song, now I'm feeling strong. The power is right here to make fear disappear. Fear! Obey me now! We should have locked it up anyway. Wave off, scream, careen, <laughs> down deep, crawl in. Hi, class. No, this is not a class. Your class is over there. You still have 15 minutes to finish your embroideries. We've just saved you from the fear, and you... And uh... I will save you from sloth. Aww. <gasps> <gasps> will it? Will it be back? Esty. Yes, I'm a coward. I'm afraid of everything. But for you all... Oh, come on. Everyone was scared. But you have made it through aesthetic. It means you're not a coward. Embroider. I'll make a fairy. Oh? Kate, you threw something all over the floor again. It's in the middle of the room. It wasn't me, Mom. Honest, I didn't do it. And who did it then? A brownie? Oh, run, 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 run. Saved. 